there, ukulele fans. Welcome back. Thanks for joining. I think I'm going to uke. My name's Tony, and today I'm going to teach you a gentle introduction into jazz strumming. Now, if you've been following along with some of my recent videos, I've purposely been picking and using certain songs to highlight different types of strum that can all be used with a 4-4 beat song. Now, if you haven't seen those videos, or maybe you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, click on the like and subscribe button. It's totally free, and everybody loves free stuff, right? This really helps grow the channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm. That way, other ukulele players, they can find good content and free lessons. You may be thinking, what are you talking about? What do you mean jazz strumming? Well, hey, even if you're a brand new beginner, probably the biggest struggle you have is how to strum. Most beginners, when they start off learning, they're real stiff and real tense. So when they're playing, they play really hard, loud, straight beats like this. <laughs> which is okay when you're starting off, but there's a lot to strumming. Like it's not just a strumming pattern, but it's really the pressure, it's the emphasis, it's the style, the timing. There's a lot to it because strumming changes the whole flavor, the whole genre of the song. Now what I want to introduce to you today is a more relaxed, more bouncy beat, where sometimes it's called a jazz beat, sometimes you might hear it called a swing beat, but it doesn't emphasize every, every beat in the song, the exact same stress and same emphasis. It emphasizes every other beat in the song. So something more like this. So hopefully you can kind of pick it up with your ear like, oh, okay, yeah, it sounds a little bit rhythmic. You're putting a, a, a beat and rhythm to the strumming itself in addition to playing the, the chords. The song I want to teach you for today's lesson is Moon River. It was really popularized by Henry Mancini, or you might have heard the Audrey Hepburn version, but they both are really popular. So this song, even though you can play it in a regular straight time, if you start to try to learn, maybe use this one as an introductory or a beginner song, to try to play with a swing or jazz beat in your strum. It really kind of brings out the jazziness of the song. Uh, you can kind of like sing it real loud, like those old like crooning big band singers. So let's get into it. Go grab your uke, tune it up, and let's play along. All right, so we'll just go through the chords real quick. There's a G major, E minor, C major, and then a back to G. Then you have C, G, A minor, and then a B7 right after that A minor. So that's this is that instance where I'm saying use it's easier for me to use my third finger. But if this feels just as comfortable to use your second finger, then to use that, okay? Then after the D7, you have E minor, G7, oops, then back to C. So this one, since you're playing a G7, and then very next chord is C, you can slide down to that C. So G7, C, and then a C minor, which is actually the first, second, and third string, all on the third fret. There's a C minor, then an E minor 7 after that, then an A7. Similarly, when you're playing an E minor 7, the very next chord is A7. Just slide your first finger up to A7, second finger down for A minor. And this is why I play D7 this way with my third finger, just for this song, because you're doing here to make that quick transition. So those are really all the chords that you need. Um, we'll play it through kind of slow, and I'll give a, a short intro with just the strumming pattern. So you can kind of practice. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and kind of replay it a couple times to kind of catch the rhythm of the strum. But all right, here we go. Yeah. 
Now, if you like it, be sure to click like and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any upcoming videos.